Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the RAM or replace the hard drive on your Lenovo Y50-70. Basically, you're just going to remove the screws that are along the perimeter of the bottom here. Um, the first one I would start with is this one in the middle because I always forget about that one. So take that one out first, then just go around the perimeter of it. I believe there's 11 or 12 total, so nothing fancy there. Once all the screws are out, you're going to make sure that it clears this ethernet port here but you should just kind of come off like this and then just go straight back okay once once that's removed mine had just a single chip in here a single 8 gig chip I added an additional 4 gig chip that I had laying around and the laptop has run a lot better ever since I'm not sure if it's the extra RAM or if it's just that it gets the benefit of dual channel but regardless I can switch in and out of programs a lot quicker than I could before. Like I, I used to play MechWare and after I'd die and wait for the next round I'd alt tab and surf the web and that's definitely working a lot better. If you're upgrading the hard drive then it looks like there's two screws here. This hard drive would come out and then that caddy, that little metal casing that goes around the drive, you would take that off, put your new drive in there, slide it back in. Um, if you need to replace the battery you'd unhook it right here. Looks like a screw here and here. Um, not sure, but this might be connected there. There's a screw here. Probably it's just the three screws and this is all you need to do, but um, it looks pretty straightforward there. So that's how you replace that. It looks like this laptop's pretty easy to service. If you need to take off the heat sink, everything's kind of wide open. The only thing that would really look difficult to me would be the keyboard, because uh, it has an island keyboard and it's not blatantly obvious how that comes off. Um, so, but you know, battery, RAM, hard drive, heatsink, all that stuff is easily accessible. So if you have any questions or anything, let me know, but that should cover it. Thanks for watching.